Yo guys, Dryden here, and today we will finally be building a proper nether hub. Because at the moment it's it's a blocky mess, it looks terrible. I've been in this world for over a year now. In this world I connected everything through nether portals. I have tunnels connecting every single one of my builds together into one central hub. Although I haven't done anything with it, it's just... It's, it's a mess, it looks terrible. So that is what we will be changing today. At the end of this video I hopefully will have transformed my central portal into an actual nether hub. So let's do this. But as always let me first show you what I've been doing in between episodes. I've actually been working on this chorus fruit monstrosity right here. It hasn't grown that much, but I've certainly spent a good amount of time on it. But also with this thing growing, my frames are also starting to drop. I don't know if it's because I have a ton of animals there or because of this thing. So yeah, just so you know, I am still working on this even though I'm not making that much progress. Another thing I've been doing is renaming my tools. Um, I don't know which one I needed. Hold on. Ooh, what's that? That's pretty cool. I guess we'll go with that. So yeah, as you can see, I have been renaming my tools and all of my armor. So you can see this is my sword that's now called Demon Slayer in red. We also have my longbow in bright green. This is my silk touch pickaxe. This is my axe. And this is my shovel. And we also have my armor, which I gave this really nice font. I think it looks really cool. I also have renamed some of my tools in here. This is my hoe in pink, of course, and my fortune pickaxe. And that's about it. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I think it's cool. I really like these colors. And other than this, I've also just been doing some chores like breeding some cows, killing them for food because I was running out. I go through a whole chocolate box of meat in like four or five videos. And apart from that I've also done a ton of resource collecting for this video, but more on that later. Now let's actually talk about the actual purpose of this video. And that is tackling this area right here. As you can see this has been my main portal for more than a year now. I was lucky enough to spawn inside of a fortress but yeah the, <laughs> this doesn't look great. We have a tunnel here, another tunnel right here and another one back here. So if you take a look at these signs this one goes to my giant hole and my mob arena. This tunnel over here goes to the new nether. This is like the original tunnel I built when the nether update came out. Also my safest house, my racetrack and my mansion, which is just a wooden mansion that I've burned completely. <laughs> well, not completely, there are a lot of blocks still floating around, but that what makes but that what's but that's what makes it but that's what makes it cool. But that's what makes it but that's what makes it cool. But that's what makes it but that's what makes but that's what makes it cool. But that's what makes But that's what makes it cool. But that what I cannot pronounce this, but that is what makes this cool. But that's what makes this cool. Okay, finally. And then over here, get this out of here. And these right here are my biggest tunnels. This goes to area 68. This is like a plains biome I try to cover in melons. I also have my raid farm, a gravel mountain biome, a sheep farm, a little village with all of my pokeballs, my mob farm at zero zero, my mining desert, my trading hall, villager breeder, guardian farm, mesa biome, industrial district, and my pyramid. And I mean, it's it's functional. I know where everything is. I can just easily access it with my boat, but it doesn't look great. In fact, it looks it looks terrible. And that's what I want to change today. I want to turn this into a very large and dark blackstone cave with green illuminating poisonous water rivers running through it. I will be making use of the fog effect you can create with glass layers. 
I don't know how to explain this, but when you step out of this portal, you will be in a really big and dark blackstone cave. You have stalagmites, stalactites, they're the other way around, aren't they? And you're gonna be walking on a very small wooden walkway that just goes around connecting to every portal. And then underneath the wooden walkway, you'll have like rocks and like I already mentioned, I want to have rivers running through and I want it to look like extremely poisonous water. So yeah, that's the plan. Although there's one problem and that is of course we're in a fortress which means blazes spawn here with a skeletons and like I already told you I want this to be a dark cave so I'm gonna have to slap everything up and also we have the possibility of gas spawning but I guess that's a bridge we'll cross when it comes to it for now I want to actually start working on our project here and the first thing I want to do is clear out this whole area I'm gonna remove all of the signs remove all of this stuff right here I'm gonna mine out a huge area, like a big square going all the way around like this and this will be like the back wall or something. And I will also make sure to go up in height too so we will be able to make a really nice and big cave. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, hopefully I don't run into too many lava sources. So yeah, I'm gonna get mining and I'll just bring you back once we have a nice area cleared out to work with. And there we go. We now... Did I just hear a blaze? Hello, sir. What is this lag? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I've now mined out this entire area. So this is where our walkways were at previously. And you can see I have two tunnels over here, another one over here. And this one right here is the main one. So I've just mined out a decently big area and this is hopefully enough to be able to build my own cave inside of it. And also you can see I've fenced off the entire area because mob just kept spawning and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to make sure I slap everything up correctly, otherwise a lot of bad mobs are gonna spawn in here. But so far no guests have spawned yet. Anyways, we now have a room to work with here and the next step is to transform this into an actual cave. The first thing I want to do is just get the blackstone in place. I'm not gonna worry about walkways or where my portal will be or connections to all of these tunnels or even our green toxic rivers. I will just be focusing on the blackstone part. And as you can see, I've gathered three shulker boxes of blackstone and five shulker boxes of sand. But there is a little bit of a story behind these ones. So a few days ago, I gathered all of these resources. I put them in my storage system and then someone in the kitchen sticks a fork in a toaster don't do that because it's not it it's it's not good it's, it's not good the power went off in the entire house for like three seconds and my ps4 got forced turned off which is it's very bad basically my world file got corrupted i couldn't access it anymore but luckily I have a backup of every single one of my worlds. So fortunately I was able to just load up my backup of this world and continue playing. But of course I made the backup right before I started gathering these resources. And now you know why I had to gather all of these resources twice. And I wasn't even recording all of it. I was planning on doing it in between episodes. Just like gather the resources for the next video. It didn't really work out. And the only thing I could show you guys is this screenshot of the Bastion I mined out for the Blackstone. And the second time I gathered the resources I was actually smart. So instead of going out in the open with all the mobs, lava, ghasts in a basal deltas. I just went to a Bastion because they are completely filled with blackstone. They might look like they're made out of blackstone bricks from the outside, but the inside is just completely blackstone. And that way I was able to gather a lot of these things really fast and efficiently. Anyways, the point is I got all of the resources ready to do this. So this is of course what I'm going to be using right now to build the cave. And I will be using all of this sand later in the video because of course we'll need a lot of glass for our poisonous rivers. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my blackstone, I'm gonna grab my stone cutter and I'm gonna transform this place into a really cool cave. And there we go. Look at that, our cave is now done. 
for now I've lit it up with torches, but of course that's gonna change. But yeah, I, I am really happy with how this turned out. It's It was really hard to build this. So basically what I did is I made sort of a sphere, but I made the walls look very crumbly and broken up. We also have these stalactites and stalagmites. And as you can see down here, I have some netherrack. This is where our toxic river will flow. We also have some cracks in here and also over here. So yeah, and if we go through here, you can see this is the room I dug out. And this is what it looks like from the outside. To be honest, it looks like a meteor or something. <laughs> it just looked like a big rock. But yeah, it looks it looks really cool from the inside. I'm really happy with this. Now, unfortunately, something I didn't think about is in the nether, it never really gets dark. So what I was envisioning with this build, I thought, you know, that the only light will come from our river and everything else will be dark and we'll have a dark ceiling that you can't even see. But of course, this is the nether and for some reason there's a default light level. So anyways, what do we need to do now? Um, the first thing I want to do is add in our wooden walkways and these will connect up to our tunnels, which are behind these walls. So to make the entrances to our tunnels, I'm actually gonna make it really well hidden. What I'm planning on doing is just going to the end, map out a part of the void, which would, will just be black, and then place some open trap doors right here with the item frames on top with the maps inside. And that way it would just be black, but you can walk through there and access the tunnel. Also something I want to do is remake our portal right here. So right now it's a rectangle, but I actually want to blend it in into the wall. All right, look at this. So as I've told you, I've transformed my portal into this and I'm really happy with it. I, I like it. And I've also made these bridges here that go over our future river. And they are definitely very bumpy. But I went for looks here and definitely not functionality. Anyways, what we need to do now is of course get our rivers in place. Finally, I've been looking forward to this for so long. And I already told you I wanted to have the fog effect here with stained glass blocks. And for that we need a lot of glass. So I'm gonna color my glass real quick and then I'll bring you back once I'm ready to start working on our really cool illuminating toxic rivers. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh for goodness sake. Oh Minecraft, why? Oh come on! I need to go another 14 blocks downwards. How am I supposed to do this? What? Uh, this is gonna be such a nightmare. Uh, it seems like we do have a tower off or nether fortress right there so I can build off of that. Hopefully I don't die in lava. My god. Oh no. Okay. Okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna have to do a lot of pillaring around and Just I really need to be careful to not fall in there All right, so I've now put the walls of our river in place. And as you can see, I've already placed some light sources at the bottom because that is required for our fog effect. And right here, I've made one small section of our fog effect. So if we go to the top, you can see that if we look down, it looks very much foggy. It looks really, really cool. So what is what this is, is basically 
alternating layers of stained glass and air and we also have a light source at the bottom and this carpet is here because it still allows light to travel through it but it doesn't interrupt our green color and as you can see we have one two three eight of these glass blocks and air blocks also you might have realized that i'm not time lapsing anything this video that's because we're in the nether and my camera account would just get attacked by mobs constantly but yeah we're almost done so i'm gonna get all of this glass in place remove the torches and then i'll bring you back so i've done a few more things with this build I have hung some chains from the ceiling and I also have some lanterns here. They don't give off as much light as normal lanterns and also they fit better with the blackstone. I've also cleaned up all of my chocolate boxes and I've placed my respawn anchor right over here. And of course the thing I was talking about in the previous clip is our rivers. It looks so cool. I, I love this. Unfortunately on PS4 we don't have anything like Optifine so I can't really get rid of the connected glass texture but that's fine it still looks really really cool and yeah it really looks like it's glowing and that's not because of the light sources at the bottom. If I break through these blocks right here you can see that I have a tunnel system lit up with torches going all the way around and you can also see that all of these upper blocks are actually stairs. On Bedrock Edition they let light travel through freely. So this is basically the furthest you can go with hidden lighting. And I went all the way around and this makes it really glow and yeah I, I love it. It's, it's so cool. And if you look down you really cannot see the bottom even though it's only 16 block downwards. And that is exactly the effect I wanted to go for. Now the last thing I did is adding in these maps right here from the end just like I told you and I connected them up to all of my tunnels. So I placed new signs right here. I got myself a chest. This is kind of what I had in the double chest previously. So there's a tunnel right here, another one right here, and another one over here. The only thing I did with this area was just fencing it off. I didn't want to decorate this because this is like the backstage area where everything is purely functional again. So there's another one right over here if we go through here this is my way of entering our what is it called the nether fortress and we can go around like this following the slabs to get to the outer world and with outer world i mean the open nether now you can also skip these fence gates and go around here there's another one of these chests and this just connects up to my main tunnel system with all of these portals connected to it so yeah i would say this was a huge success this is so cool i am so incredibly happy with this so in this video we managed to completely transform this entire area and it turned out so much better than i was actually envisioning which is not something that happens a lot so yeah but anyways it's now the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you hopefully in the next one goodbye